Right, so guys, for this project or this build, we're going to need eight of these. They're like these little um, got these pieces. They've got these pieces on them here, and they've got um studs facing upwards. If you can see. So yeah, you need eight of them. You need eight of any colour hinges, it doesn't really matter. Those can be any colour as well, as long as the studs on them are facing upwards, so they're pointing up. And you need twenty-two, I repeat, twenty-two of these little one by two flat pieces. These come in handy a lot when you're building something like this because they can sort of fill in with really small gaps. So first off, you need to get two of these you need two one by twos and you you should put them on top of each other like that and they should just be they just be you should just keep repeating that until you use up um I think I'll just show you in a second I can't remember how many it is yeah if you as soon as you use up these these lot then I'll tell you what you next. Know. So you just stack them on top of each other. Like that. Really should have the yellow on the top because that makes it look a bit more nice. So yeah, you've, you should have used. What was it? One. Two, three, four, five, six. You should have used 18 of these, I think. No, not 18, 16 of these. Because I've got, I had 8 of orange and 8 of yellow, so I put them on top of each other like that. Then you're going to want to grab all of those things, these things that I was talking about earlier with the studs facing upwards. You're going to want to put one of them, one of the things that you've made earlier, on top of this, on top of it. So they're pointing. So then you you see what I'm about to do next. So you just do this with all of them. So you've used all of them up and you haven't got any more. And then, so once you've done that, you're you're gonna want to get them. So one of them is facing upwards, like this. And then you're gonna want to have another one next to it like that, but instead of that being like that, you can all have it faced like this. So, you have that, and you're going to grab one of your other 1x2s, or one of your 1x2 flat pieces. You're going to put it on the very end here, and then you're going to grab a hinge, and you're going to be putting that on there, just like that, and you should have this they will fold with ease so you can that's the first one done then you're going to want to do another one of those so remember facing like up like that then tip it to the side and you've got it like that then you get another one by two you put it on there another hinge put that on there as well so you got two of them. Then you're gonna to want to build an opposite one. So then, if I move all this, up, if I move those around here, you have two of them. And then you want to get one facing like that, or you want one like that, and then you have this one there. But this one like this will be facing there. So it's or like that even. I think no, yeah, like this. So. It's like that, you tip it, it's facing like that, then you do the exact same thing with it. You put the studs, not studs, the um, plates and hinges on, so you've got an opposite one. You should put both of them together, it'll look like that, so I'm just going to get this other one done real quick. So you've got that, then you have it like that, it's facing that way. So get this one done real quickly. Okay, so then you got those bits. You got these bits now. 
We don't want to put one of the opposites and one of the normal ones. They could be next. They should be next to each other, like that. And you're gonna have. You're gonna have it like this. So then you get one of those, and you put it on there like that. And then so then that will bend, and then you get those bits that will bend as well. So if you get that, they will bend. So you got the opposite bits here. You get your other hinges or the other piece, and you the other hinge, and you put it on the pieces again, like this. And then you should have that. Oh, I'm missing a bit actually. Yeah, you do need. You need 24 of the plates, not 22. You need 24. I just realised I'm missing a hinge as well, so I noticed that. So you're gonna want to have them like this. They could be facing, like they should be facing. Oh, I can't remember how it was now. I think it's this way. Yeah, they're gonna want to be facing that way. And you'll have your hinge facing. You should have it facing upwards like this. Pretty sure it's this way anyway. So then it'll fold. Yeah. No, it's not. It's the other way. So then do what I just did. Have it. you need to have it this way. So you got it you got the bits like that. The exact same way, but you're gonna be having it instead of it on the top, it's on the bottom. So then the hinges here won't meet with that and break it. So I'm just going to do that with the other side as well. Put that piece on there. And then you will need, for this bit, for, for the last four um, plates, you're going to put them on the end next to the hinges. Like on the ver on the, um, the sides of it. And then that's pretty much it really. Then you can customise or decorate it however you want. I've gone for a yellow look, or like black and yellow sort of thing, an orange, and got all these pieces here that I'm gonna customize it with. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. You guys can customize it however you want as well. So, it's quite quite easy, real simple. Doesn't take up too many resources as well. I mean, unless you want to make a um. Unless you just want to get by a normal one, then that makes sense. But I feel like the Lego one's pretty cool as well. So yeah, I'll put these bits on and then I'll show you. Yeah. I will be, um, I might be streaming soon as well. I might be, I don't know. It, it all depends. I might not though, it doesn't. It, I don't know, really. I might do, I might not. It depends. Yeah. Um. I've almost finished mine here. Give me a second. And. You see. Yeah. We've got my ones finished. Really cool. You fold it a lot of the time. And then. You fold it a lot. It's very fun to make. It's quite easy. It's quite easy as well. So, I guess yeah. I'll see you on the next one and bye. Hey yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you want to find out how to make this in, or if you want to make this at all, it's a Lego butterfly knife. I changed the colour of one half of it to sort of make it look cool so it's sort of like have a theme I guess with this but yeah if you want to find out how to make that in, if, in a, a different episode subscribe to my channel and you should find find it on there hopefully peace